Yo YouTube, what's going on today? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, you can see what we got here. This is the 2023 Hyundai Veloster N. Oh, what the fuck am I saying? This is the 2023 Hyundai Elantra N. I don't know why I said Veloster, but I guess it brings back memories of the Veloster. <laughs> this car is similar to the Veloster, and you can see this is the blue with the red. As my Veloster was a cyber gray, this color sticks out nice. Well, look at this thing. So around the car, we got some Michelin Passport 4S's that are Hyundai original tires. As you can see those rims and tires are nice and juicy. Woo. It's running 245, 35 ZR19. And these tires are much more grippier than the Pirelli P0s that were on the Veloster N. Because I sent this thing in the rain and everything, even in the cold weather, they grip pretty nice. Yeah, we'll look around the car. Look at the massive front grille. The one thing I don't like about this is the front end a bit. I wanted it to be more aggressive, but it's not as aggressive. The Veloster was pretty aggressive, but this looks like a regular Elantra to me in that sense. But I still don't mind it. <laughs> So you can see around the car, you have the nice red accents all around. Same as the Veloster N, and it says the N logo right there. On the back end of the car, you got this nice spoiler here. Now, if you guys remember the Veloster, the Veloster had it on the top of the roof. This has it around the trunk. And this spoiler is similar, but they both look nice. It got the massive ass exhaust pieces. Look at that. Woo. Now let me show you guys the interior. This is the important part because this interior is better than the Veloster to a certain extent. So look at the seats. We have the bucket seats with Alcantara. Look at that. And we got the N logo right there. That actually looks nice. Though it is not powered though. Sitting inside instantly, you can tell this is the same steering wheel except they added the left side end button and the NGS button is right here instead. Now, right off the bat, look at that back screen. If you guys remember the Veloster, the Veloster only had the simple speedometer and had the regular display right here. This is basically one whole big display. So let me show you guys. Right off the bat, here you have the different displays. So this is in regular mode. So if I press the left side end button, you get the sports mode, you get eco mode, and you have normal. But then if you press the right side end button, you get this end mode. So this, you have the different speedometer, you have the turbo and torque, and you have the oil and engine temperature. And right down here, it tells you your engine steering and suspension and how maxed it is. And then on the display itself, this is all touchscreen, press end mode. So it tells you how much you're pressing the brake. Right now, I'm pressing all the way, I'm at 90. Press even harder at 99. So it tells you how hard you're pressing the brake, you have a circuit mode, and a digital throttle, oil temp, and engine temp. It's pretty sick though, I'm not gonna lie. And then you have a circuit as well, you can choose whatever circuit, or the ones that are on this, and you can change it too. So as you can see, this is the big screen. This screen, I like over the Veloster N. The Veloster N wasn't that great. I think in the infotainment area, the Veloster N lacked. But the one thing I don't get is this thing right here. I have no idea what this is. I think it's just for show. I thought it was something you tap your phone with or it's an NFC, but that's not the case. But looking down here, you have your drive mode, you have your parking, and your climate control, everything right here. He just steering wheel and all that. This stuff is pretty straightforward. Now, a nice thing that the Veloster didn't have, if I, if I recall correctly, is the sunroof. This at least actually has a sunroof. Whereas the Veloster, it didn't. Now let me show you guys the back seats because I ain't gonna lie for a sedan, this is pretty roomy. So this is the back seats. Now this is a seat with me sitting far back. Now I get in and I actually have quite a bit of leg room. Look at that. I'm a big guy, you can see that. And look how easily I fit in this. Now the one thing I don't like about this car in the back end is the noise. This car does not have proper insulation in the rear. There's more insulation in the front end. So when you're driving, you're gonna feel a bit more cold air. You're gonna hear a lot of road noise. Now that brings me to the next topic, which I didn't like about this car compared to the Veloster N, is the sound system. So back here, you can see it has the one subwoofer. Even though it's two, it has one. The thing is, the speakers in the back doors are pretty bad those speakers right there because when you have the music playing you can only hear most of it on the front end it makes sense though because the car is driver focused right so you have all the sound towards you but the problem is in the back you can't hear anything unless you blast the sound system really loud so comparing this sound system to the Veloster N the Veloster N sound system is actually way better way better that brings me to the next topic back to the noise thing when the guys in the front seat are talking here you can't hear them properly back here even if the music is on or not there's too much road noise coming from the back that you can't hear the guys up front unless they're screaming at you now i'm being honest about that because when i was driving with all the guys here on the way here they were talking it was hard for me to hear them because there's so much road noise from the two rear tires there's barely any installation back there to which i'll show you guys the trunk so right now the valves are open you can hear the exhaust because the car is in end mode but check this out so the trunk button is right here open that up there it is there you have your bar in the back you can see that 
Now, there's barely any insulation in this thing back here. Like I said, when we're driving, there's so much road noise from the rear tires and the back seats. It's not that great. And with climate as well, the climate control, you're gonna get everything on the front seats. You won't feel much in the back. So that's the parts I didn't like about this car. Otherwise, you can see the car is pretty sexy. Like, look at that thing. Nice, sexy 19 inches. Got some beautiful brakes on there. Though I wish the one thing they gave this over the Veloster N, they gave it actual Brembo's, but they didn't. They gave it regular calipers and put an end cover over it. I wish they would have changed it up though, you know, compare it more to an RS3, something like that, you know? Or even the Type R has Brembo's in the front, you know, compared to something like that. So let me show you guys the engine real quick. So you can probably hear that. That's the fan kicking in right now because this thing has an oil cooler. The Veloster N has the same thing where you gun the shit out of that car because it cools the oil down. So this is the engine right here. This is the 2.0 liter N turbo engine. Look at that. Takes 0W30. Has a nice fat twin scroll turbo in the back. Woo. And most importantly, this car is the dual clutch. Now the dual clutch in this thing, in my opinion, is more responsive than the Veloster N. This car has been improved over the Veloster N. In my opinion, I feel they took the Veloster N as the base test and improved everything on the Elantra N. Because driving the two cars, the Veloster was nice, it was nimble, it was small, you know, it's pretty quick. But this car being a four door, it still hauls, like it still pulls. And the transmission is actually much more responsive. And I do think Hyundai did improve the exhaust on this car as to the Veloster N. Let's hear a noise real quick. So we're gonna go through each individual mode right now the car is in normal mode right so the car is in normal mode right now let's hear the exhaust all right yo, give me a rev so as you can hear that was the oh man. so that was a car in normal mode you heard that there's no pops nothing now let's hear it in sports mode all right you guys heard the valves open up all right give me a rev So you can see the exhaust got much louder. Now we're gonna put an end mode. All right, heard that now you know well this thing sounds nasty when driving it too those pops are aggressive now these pops are in end mode they aren't in sports mode they aren't in normal mode in end mode you press the button boom it makes those nasty raspy ass pops so you can see those muffler tips are pretty huge and you can see why they pop look at that thing bro shook my whole fist in there yo <laughs> now for the important bit let's get some exhaust shots while driving and let's get some pov video i'll show you guys how this thing drives so we're going for a drive now the car is in normal mode as you can see here I'm gonna give you guys a quick rev and end. So that's end mode. The speedometer is pretty quick. You see the RPM is moving and floor it? There's no leg. It goes pretty quick. So now I'm gonna show you guys from the POV camera that's above me. That'll be recording. <laughs> so let's grab this thing. Car's in end mode. Let's go. the car in Kryptonic mode, look how quick those dual clutch shifts. See the Veloster had the bar on top for the shift, this has it on the sides of the speedometer as you can see. See? Norris are between four and five thousand RPM.
because the ground's a bit wet the car is wheel hopping so that's why i'm not going to send it as much but this dual clutch is nice the car moves pretty quick we're back in the triptronic that quick that thing shifts oh the pops are amazing So these piles are fast, like the responsive look. Boom. And the sick thing about this car I love is the auto steering. So you put it on, the car like it'll drive for me. Though I don't trust it, <laughs> the Velocity had it, but because of raining, I don't trust it that much. So what I'm doing right now, I'm not accelerating the car all the way. So what you see right now is maybe 70% throttle. That's uh, so according to this thing. Right now my throttle is not, at zero because I'm not pressing it, but see, it's at 60, 70%. If I floor it, the car wheel hops too much. And it has the nice NGS button right here, if you can see that. Look at that. I'm going to press that in a second. Ooh. Let's press that. NGS grin shift. Oh, my lost traction. Jeez. So now if I drive the car in regular mode, I'll put it in uh, regular. You gotta see how quiet it gets, but it's not as quiet. As to the Veloster, the engine actually went quiet, but this car does not go quiet at all. See? My throttle's at 37%. This is regular mode. Car is nice and quiet, it isn't that bad. You can just see your daily driver right here. But then when you wanna have fun, Press the end button, boom. how hot that turbo got that's the real question no, it's not as red today. yesterday the turbo was actually red today it ain't that red Penis. so you can hear the oil is cooling down that's the fans kicking in on high to cool the oil after you saw the way i gunned it overall this car is amazing it handles nice i know some people say it doesn't handle that great but it handles good especially at high speed as well. The cornering is really great for a front wheel drive. The tires are sticky. The transmission is insane. That dual clutch grips. It has lips that grip, all right? Like, I mean, it grips. Car looks visually beautiful as well. You get the massive exhaust, you know, the red 
outlining in the blue color and everything it looks beautiful so if you are looking at the elentra n i say it is worth it because of the lost run i had it was pretty fast i slapped a charger it kept up to the s5 now the elentra n is the improved version of the velocir n so you know this thing has power and it could kick ass now within the price range it isn't that bad especially when you get this beautiful thing So that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the Veloster. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Elantra and comment, like, and subscribe.